All right, y'all, this is Gunner Pace coming back at you. We're here with uh, Mike Hill and friends. And, uh, nephew. Okay, Mike Hill and nephew. Yeah, that's my nephew. All right, that's your nephew. All right. Well, uh, sir, David Reese did say that, you know, he was real respectful. He gave Mike all the credit in the world, you know, being the top of his game, but he said he'd like to see him. We'd like to see him, too. Okay. We'll screw him up with this screw. You'll screw him up with the screw? Yeah. Well, did you see that flyer that if you don't blow a screw, then screw you? Did you see that, Mr. Hill? I ain't see it. You didn't see that flyer? No, I ain't see it. Sir, can you go get me a flyer? Uh, one of those uh, uh, extreme right nitrous flyers. You can write anything on the fly. You, okay, you said you can write anything on the fly. Right. Well, I don't think he wrote that in particular, but you know. Yeah, I don't believe he wrote it. No. Somebody else probably wrote it for him. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what's the next? Now, I heard that Mr. Hill is coming out with something brand new. July the 2nd. July the 2nd. Being debuted July the 2nd. I heard it's a bad, bad thing. More cube against she's in the mother. Baddest, baddest man on the block with an automatic. <laughs> Go. Hey, it's recording. All right. Yeah, hey, let me make it easy for you. <laughs> All right, y'all. This is gonna pick some right back at you, and I have uh, Mr. Hill's nephew interviewing me. Yeah, I got a question for you. Yes, sir. Hey, what you think about the screw and Mr. Hill? Between the screw and Mr. Hill? Well, yeah. that screw below was impressive. Right. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Your pockets got to be long to have that screw on it. Right. But now how I feel about that is if you're a grudge racer, you know, you should get the other lane. Right. Mm -hmm. I got a question for him too, Tim. What's that? Do I have a car? <laughs> Who you been with? <laughs> you been with the screw and Mr. Hill? It's undecided just yet. <laughs> undecided? It's undecided just yet. <laughs> what, what, what you need to decide? First, I need to see that brand new Pro Mod. You That's number one. Well, it I'll be here July 2nd. It's nitrous, it's automatic, so. I understand that. I, all the cubic inches without the power. A whole lot of cubic inches. A whole lot of cubic inches. What I would like to see as a spectator, I would like to see that car make a shakedown. Yeah. And that's going to tell me whether Mike Hill is still number one. So you saying a shakedown? Determine if he's number one or not. But well, I'm gonna tell you that that'll let me know where my money's going. That will definitely let me know where my money's going. And then again, that depends on how Mr. Hill feels that day. When they, roll, when they roll out the trailer, you're gonna start leaning toward that way then. <laughs> well, this man right here. Who is that? That's David Reese. That's Who? a fly. Oh, you talking about <laughs> Oh, you talking about the, the drag radio man. Oh, okay. <laughs> well this man right here, like I said, he was respectful. He was real respectful. He gave Mr. Hill all the credit in the world and said that he would like to get the other lane on. Now, Mr. Hill, how do you feel about that? Well, we ain't got no business running no screw blower car because we only run root style blowers in our class, but we'll try him. You will try him. Right here, right there. Right here, right there. Okay. But that sounds good, but I'll tell you what, I'm looking forward to seeing that Pro Mod. I'm looking real forward to seeing Mike Hill's Pro Mod. Mike Hill is a legend in this right here. And I know everybody knows it. Every time you hear Mike, ooh, God, Mike Hill, it's like he can walk on water or something. Can you walk on water, Mr. Hill? No, I ain't Jesus. You're not Jesus. I'll tell you one thing, you, you, you're looking for a beast to come out, right? I'm looking for a monster. Monster. A straight monster. I guarantee you, that's, that's, that's what you'll see, Drew, last second. Well, Mr. Hill, can I ask you a question? Yes. When are you coming back to really Show these folks what it really is, what grudge racing really is. Man, I can't get no grudge racing. They don't, they don't, I tried to get one the other day on the radio show. They don't. They scared of man. They, they are scared of Mr. Hill. The grudge race pro mod, yeah. They are scared of him. Yeah. But what about Abner Hall? I know that's your buddy. I've been, been, I've been pushing to get him, to get, get him back out this year too. So as soon as we get the car going, he's definitely on with it. Every, every year. Every year. Every year. Well, you know, the last time you guys raced, I was at that race, and, and, and you know, I will recall, Mr. Hill did tell you, that's the, you know, Mr. Hill told you what time the race was going to be over, why he was going to win, 
how he was going to win. And he was off for 15 minutes. Oh, yeah? yeah, he was off for 15 minutes. That's how racing is now. Shit, shit happens. I was on his home turf, but he got a commitment to come to mind. We're dragging, we're dragging here to Carolina driveway to get him off his home turf. So. You know, Edmund, 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 Edmund really doesn't like to leave Montgomery from what I understand. Hell, I leave it out. But Edmund, you know. <laughs> so, you know, you see tomato, I see tomato. So, you, you, you say you can get uh, Grudge Racing Pokemon. I will try. No, I did not say that. I'll tell you what. We tried to get one on the Red Talk Thursday, and the whole show went south. Who's going to run you, Mr. Hill? Name somebody out here that can well, possibly run you. Well, I mean, H -D. Name two. a lot of them talk H -D. trash. HD and them, you should, they talk all the trash about they are running me, so uh -huh. yeah. we tried to go ahead and lock them in. And they weren't locking with you. No, they, they told me they told the man to get me off the show. They didn't even want to talk about it. They didn't want to talk about it. Is that true, nephew? That's true. That's true. So what's the problem? I mean, if they talk it and they can't walk, what is the problem exactly? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they really great races or either or just play pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe that's what you want to call them. I don't know what to call it. I'm asking. I don't know the word for it either. Me either. I, I'm at a Tony Wright ain't been trying to get back at them, you know. And, mm -hmm. I bet they will lock them in to come here on July 2nd. I bet they won't show. They won't show. No. Not unless you're about to pay them. But if you're, but if you're a grudge racer, you you're locking, if you you're a grudge racer, racer and you say you got the baddest car in your class, you should run in this damn body that's sitting like you. Just get the other lane. And it shouldn't matter who true. getting the money at the gate. That's the problem that's going wrong with grudge racing. Everybody worry about who getting money at the gate. Or make it, maybe making money at the gate. I'm going to come to their show and run them if they want to run me. I'll come to their show. Well, everybody has an opportunity to throw a race, but there's a lot of risk involved in throwing races. Well, that's the part most of them don't understand, that you can always lose just whether you can win. At their gate. That's right. That's right. It all depends on, on, on what's going on in public opinion and what they feel like at the time. I have a good cloud hanging over your head that day. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Mr. Hill, I tell you what. Well, uh, this this job here is not fun. You know this thing. <laughs> all right, nephew you out. <laughs> Beat me in something. Get it for a mile. Yeah. All right, y'all start. I'm, I'm listening. You know, you don't. All right, let me ask you a question. Mr. Hill and Nephew, yeah. Georgia is known for grudge races, right. but who is the undisputed grudge racer in Georgia right now? Uh, who do you feel is the undisputed grudge racer? In Georgia? Yes, sir. Uh, Tony Bonds out of Georgia, ain't he? Tony Bonds. Yes, sir. Yeah, he's out of Georgia. So he is the undisputed grudge racer, grudge yeah, he, king. He, he grudge Except not, not in Pro Mod. Not in the also? big league, Pro Mod League. So what league is Tony, what league is Mr. Bonds in? He's in double A. Double A. Double A. Which is? Which is the league before the big major league. You got to play on the playground before you get to the major league. Now maybe one day we hoping he can come up to major league status. Yeah, I like to see him in the promo league. I would like to see him in promo league status too. He won't beat me bad. He always seem to want to beat me somehow or another if I get in some calls. I want to get in the promo call. I don't care what it is. Just get in a pro mod car, that way you can go ahead and run me and we'll get that. Tell Tony Bynes, any pro mod he can beg, borrow, or steal, he can sit in the other lane. That means that mean he can have a clutch, he blow, can have turbo, whatever. pro charger, whatever. And he got to have a roof on it. How about a screw blower? Screw he, can blower. blower. he can have two screw blowers. Well, let me ask you a question. What's the difference between running Tony? Well, you did see your run David Reese, so I'm not going to say that. That's that, you know, I, I bite my tongue. But I said I was supposed to, but I will. Well, I bite my tongue on that because you did say that. So once again, for everybody that says Mike Hill is leading away from uh, grudge racing, you heard it live and direct from his mouth. Man, He's not supposed and, to try somebody, but he'll do it anyway. One thing I, I want to say before you cut it down, they say Mike Hill don't grudge race. How can you grudge race if don't nobody want to run? Well, now that's a good point. That's a good point. How can you grudge race if nobody will run? How you answer that question? I don't know. Somebody needs to step to the plate, or Mike, once you have reached so far, do you think you should step back? Take a step back. And hey, you see all them trees behind you? Yes, sir. All of you? Yes, sir. Oh man! Look, look how he's laughing. Look how he's laughing. Bandy came out in the middle yeah. of the day. You hard. know, I just hear a lot of people always say, Mike Hill don't ain't beat nobody. But how can you beat somebody if don't nobody run you? Well, I will, well, you got you, you do have a point there. You seen the cold killer call? Brought a pro mod out just for courage racing. 
Yeah, they want to pay us to come, but they ain't really want to race car. Okay, so they just want to use it as an attraction, not, not really as a grudge race. Okay. okay. Well, what makes you so much of a, a, a draw? Man, I don't know. I mean, I got my ass whooped and handed to me plenty of times, you know, so, you know, just, you got to be lucky that day. And, and a little good. Okay. Lucky, lucky and a little good. Yeah. Well, I think luck stacks up a little bit more. Maybe so.